Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this little guy here that lives in your Windows machine from a very long time, I believe. <laughs> so the name of this software is Windows Security, also known as Windows Defender. And this is a free antivirus program by Microsoft for Windows. Okay. So I'm making this video to prove that this antivirus program is actually good okay if not the best and uh, another point i'm making this video is i have seen many people actually some of my friends using the third party antivirus program and making the win windows run even slower because m more antivirus you run <laughs> it will get slower and uh, if you're an expert like you know how to use internet how to download software properly and all that you know you will never install a third party antivirus program i believe they will say the windows defender is enough and after the release of windows 10 2004 the windows defender aka windows security system is now way better or you can say much powerful with the help of app and browser control i did not notice this before the release of windows 10 version 2004 but now this seems to be working like i don't know i never noticed this because i have been downloading the same softwares again and again whenever i install the windows and uh, i never got a notification from windows defender that this software is unwanted or something like that i will give you the example why i'm saying this and one more thing i want to mention in this video so i'm gonna do some tests with different software and game and i don't mean to hurt any developer or any software company or a game i just i'm just here to do the test and uh, yeah if i mean if the windows defender stops them or detects them as a unwanted application or virus uh, it all depends on the popularity of that software and also unwanted behavior okay i don't mean to hurt any as i said any developer or any game company or anything like that okay so this is just for security purpose and uh, <clears throat> Yeah, let's just do it. So first of all, this app and browser control feature is just amazing for newbies. As I said, if you're a technical guy, like IT person or anything like that, you know how to use internet, how to download software and all that, then, you know, you're okay. But if you're absolute noob, you don't trust any software or any game that you're installing you may think that this is maybe this is a virus or something like that uh this will help you windows defender can help you actually okay to decide whether you install that software or not okay there will be two um section of it first of all newly published software it will detect as a unwanted software plus even if the software is not that new, like it's fairly good, uh, popular, it, if it has say, some unwanted behavior, it will warn you that it has an unwanted behavior and all that. So now let's just get into the uh, examples. Okay, demo. Okay, <laughs> Let me give you the demo. First of all, I'm going to go with the most popular uh, <clears throat> game, software, whatever you call it. Okay. So... As you know, this is a Valorant game by the Royt company. Okay, this is a really popular game now these days. And uh, whenever, if my settings are all turned on in the Windows Defender, whenever I try to download the game, okay, I'm gonna download the game. And you can see Valorant EXE has been blocked as a potentially unwanted app by Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. So there is two reasons. First of all, it has a unwanted behavior, plus it is newly published game or application, okay? So now you decide whether you trust this company 
and click on this three dot menu and click on keep okay if you trust the roid company then yeah keep it nobody cares but at least the windows defender is telling you that it has an unwanted behavior or unwanted app okay it is telling you here whenever you downloading let me try it from google chrome it's actually got downloaded in the google chrome well google chrome was not able to defend this because actually right game is really popular uh company and uh, yeah i think it's trustable okay <laughs> that is why but if you use a uh, microsoft edge which is basically a google chrome because it is based on chromium uh, the smart screen of windows defender will actually work and it, it will tell you that it is potentially unwanted software so here you can keep it or whatever okay so it's not the same for at home because uh, smart screen i think it's not working in google chrome and google chrome thinks that this is a good application that's why it got downloaded but if you use a uh, microsoft edge browser it will warn you okay even though it is really popular but why it's warning you let me give you the example uh, it has a vanguard anti-cheat system which has a zero ring zero permission okay I, I can't explain you how and why because i'm not a it guy but still you know i watch the other videos so i i want you to go here and watch this video why you should not install valorant and this guy will tell you why you should install a valorant and why you should not even though the title only says why you should not install but this guy will also tell you why you should not install the valorant so yeah you will understand that and that is why the smart screen here worked in edge browser and it tried to block actually in google chrome because of this smart screen not working uh, this game got downloaded you can install it because this game is well-known game it won't harm your pc but they can because they have something weird vanguard anti-cheat system and this guy will explain you i will put link in the description you can go there and watch and you'll understand what i'm talking about okay so that's that now let's go over to this okay this is also a good and fairly popular software and this is the android emulator so doesn't matter where from where you download this let me let me give you the example here okay first of all i'm going to download this from here okay so click on download and uh, let's see what happens okay it got downloaded very nice but now i got the notification <laughs> saying that you have a unwanted software so here you can see i have to go review and i have done so many tests to make this video so <laughs> yeah i have been going through many things here so here you can see in a detail of the protection history you can see detected app mumu setup okay status active and in detail this says that this application has a potentially unwanted behavior and else it will also rate how the risk how much risk you you'll get after you install it it has a low risk it will rank like low medium high so it as low so now you can decide whether you want to install the software so now it all depends on whether you trust this company or not because at least the windows defender try to warn you if something happens so now as i said this is for absolute noob if you think that memu is not a good software yeah you got it i i mean you have some kind of proof that this is not a good software because the windows defender is telling you that okay <laughs> and you know i don't want to go deep but at least you know you got the idea what i'm trying to say here so if you believe that meme play developers are good people yeah go ahead and install it and you'll be good but if you don't then you can remove it just like that okay uh let me try it from google chrome now 
Yeah, why not? And this works everywhere, okay? Only the smart screen does not work in third-party browsers. But I'm just gonna go download here. Okay, it got downloaded. Wow, I got another notification again. Okay, review. And you can see I got the notification that this application has a unwanted software because this application is fairly popular, but not that popular. Not many people use this. That is the first reason you have to be really popular or reputative company if you don't want to get detected. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you talk about the spyware, malware, and all that, Windows 10 itself is a huge spyware software, okay? Talk about Cortana, talk about every single piece of software that is in your Windows 10 is spyware, almost everything, okay? But, you know, if you can't use the Mac OS or Linux, then you're stuck with the Windows 10. At least try to... Uh, defend yourself from other uh, company or other software or virus or anything like that. I'm not, okay, <laughs> I'm going too deep. As I said, you hate Windows 10 but still use it. I know, I'm not going to talk about the Windows 10 because I myself use Windows 10 even though it's not loved by many people even myself okay i wish few of the things were right in windows 10 but you know things can't go the way you want always okay so the windows is the only operating system that has everything and everything works okay from software game and everything even though it is spyware we still being forced to use this because there is no other operating system if you talk about the virus spyware malware or anything like that you know but now, at least I'm here. Yeah, this blocked the MME setup. Okay, <laughs> nice. Windows Defender, nice. So we have many examples, many. I have tested with many softwares, like I have tested with the uh, Nox Player too. So even the Nox Player, fairly well-known Android emulator, that also got detected as a unwanted software. And I also tested with the BlueStacks, but BlueStacks didn't get any detection. Like it was clean by the Defender because the reason is that actually the most popular Android emulator is uh, BlueStacks. It was the first and the most popular Android emulator and the company is really big and well known. So that is why the BlueStack is clean, even though they might have the same permissions, same behavior, but the trust is everything here, okay? The many people use your software and uh, you gain the trust, okay? The less people you use the software, you gain less trust. And uh, it goes something like this. Hope you are understanding what I'm trying to say here, okay? <laughs> so now let me give you the another last example, okay? So the last example is that, you know, usually how people get virus or malware or adware in their system is by clicking on the fake download links. Okay, let's say, you know, let's just do it. Uh, let's say you want to download some crack software or patch software or something like that, you know, for free. People usually do that. I am also one of those sometime, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Many, almost every people have done it, okay? So once you start making the money, then you buy it, but otherwise you just download the crack software or something like that. So if you click on fake download links and you'll get the virus and all that. So let me try to find some fake download links and let's see if the Windows Defender helps us to defend against those fake download downloaded software or virus or something like that okay let me try to find some oh right off the bat i found one wow <laughs> okay i i just clicked on it and uh, i can keep it still but you can see it warned us let's see on uh, google chrome though it's a smart screen 
um, block, not the virus, I think, I believe. Yeah, it's only a smart screen. But I believe the Google Chrome won't be able to defend this. Let's see. This time I got different. Okay, Google Chrome itself defended this actually. Uh, defender doesn't have to do anything, but if the Google Google Chrome can, I, I, as I said, I have gone through many tests here. Okay, I know how it is gonna work. Okay, but but the browser itself is actually blocking it. Let's try to keep it and let's see the reaction of the Windows Defender. Okay, wow. See, first Google Chrome defended uh, us. And now the defender, is, you can see it says this is a virus. So yeah, these days browser are also very smart, <laughs> very, very, come on, close the browser. Yeah. So now you see Windows Defender is actually good. Okay, virus protection wise and all that, you, you can actually go and research on internet and try to find out if the Windows Defender is good or not. I have seen some news that Windows Defender is actually sitting at the top in virus protection. I don't know when I saw that, but you can go and do it yourself. Okay, just go and type, is Defender good or something like that, okay? And uh, yeah, most, uh, I wanted to make this video because this app and browser control thing is actually really useful for newbies i believe so that is why yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it yeah if you have any questions or anything like just like anything if you have something in your mind just type in the comment section below and i will uh, try to do the chit chat with you in the comments that's it i will see you in the next minute take care yourself and have fun bye bye